For the past few weeks, it's been a wild ride for SoFi, PayPal, Upstart, and Square as we look to close out this year. December 6 was the last day for warrants to be redeemed and SoFi stock has fluctuated around $15 to $16 at the time of recording this. During the dips, if you happen to panic sell SoFi at a loss instead of taking advantage of this buying opportunity, that's why no one will remember your name. As always, we're not financial advisors, and this isn't financial advice, so always do your own research. Welcome to Wealth Gambit. In this channel, we cover SoFi's fundamental analysis and interesting insights that we have on SoFi. Shout out to Woody Lee for this comment. If you happen to like SoFi and want to get the latest news about it, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified as soon as we drop new content. We recently came across a Seeking Alpha article written by Leo Imasuin, bringing up the potential idea that SoFi could be acquired by Apex Clearing. Is this even possible? In this video, we'll go over the relationship between Apex Clearing and SoFi, what would happen if SoFi were to acquire them, and how this could affect SoFi as a company and you as an investor. Stick through to the very end we have some very interesting points to cover. During SoFi's Q3 earnings call, SoFi CFO Chris LaPointe pointed out that the profit margin from their fintech services platform was down from 61% a year ago. And this was because of one, SoFi's investment in technology capabilities this year, two, the company's migration from on-premise to the cloud, and three, SoFi's ongoing investment into new products and geographies. LaPointe also noted, It's worth noting as well, that Q3 2020 included the 100% margin contribution of our equity method investment in Apex, which was called earlier this year. Chris LaPointe had brought up SoFi's equity method investment in Apex, but what exactly is Apex? The clearing and custody of all securities within SoFi Invest are provided by Apex Clearing Corporation. This pretty much means that they're responsible for each transaction and guarantees that every one of SoFi's transactions will go through. Apex Fintech Solutions LLC is a company that provides technology-based solutions such as digital clearing, custodial services, real-time crypto solutions, fractional share trading, and many other services. Apex Clearing provides technology solutions to other fintech companies such as First Trade, Stash, SoFi, and a lot more, and they're often dubbed as the fintech for fintech. Apex serves as the back-end trading and technology to a lot of fintech companies. Apex Technology Solutions is pretty much like a gateway that makes trading and investing through these fintech companies possible. It's Apex's technology that makes the stock market accessible for these fintech companies and their investors online. Apex Clearing is kind of like the bridge that connects fintech platforms to the stock market. Aside from acquiring Galileo for SoFi's technology platform, SoFi has also invested in Apex. SoFi stated in their official website that it owns a small ownership stake in Apex Clearing. And in one of SoFi's blog posts, SoFi has declared that as of January of this year, its equity ownership in Apex was reduced from 17% to less than 1%. Okay. But did you know SoFi actually intended to buy Apex Clearing back in the day? Yeah, that's right. Commander Noto and his management team saw the potential of Apex Clearing and they tried to buy this great company a few years back, but failed to do so. So they opted to acquire a small ownership stake in APAC. Noto, LaPointe, and the rest of SoFi's management team is out here playing 5D chess while everyone plays checkers. Anyways, last February, Apex announced it would go public via merger with blank check firm Northern Star Investment Corp 2. This firm has also gone public and piled up about $400 million in January. And as of the same month, this company has handled two SPACs already. In August this year, Northern Star Investment Corp revealed that the IPO wouldn't happen anytime soon because the stockholder vote has been postponed. Northern Star Investment Corp stated that their company's registration statement, which they filed last April to the SEC, is still under review by the SEC staff at the time they announced the postponement of the merger, which leaves Apex hanging in the air. Apex Clearing actually used to be the backbone of the technology behind Robinhood when it came to executing transactions. But in 2018, Robinhood managed to launch its own. So what ended up happening between the two? <laughs> what do you think? How do you see them through their life cycle? Because as we just mentioned when we introduced you, you had a close relationship. You were, you were there with Robinhood at the start and then Robinhood decided to get its yeah. in-house clearing. What happens when these companies hit that sort of scale and size? Is it always that they'll go and take their, what you provide in-house? Well, look, one of the things I'd say, if Lad was sitting next to me today, one thing, the first thing he'd say is there would be no Robinhood today without, without Apex. 
And then the second thing he would say is, what Apex does is really complicated, right? He took this on himself um, and had some challenges as it relates to it. And, and that's why there's a perfect marriage between us and our clients. Decreasing expenses and investing in technologies equates to more money. Firms like Robinhood built up their own system to avoid relying on other firms like Apex or what we call the middleman. With less expenses, the money they save can go directly into reinvesting back into the business. It wouldn't surprise us if Commander Noto does this with SoFi, just like what Vlad did with Robinhood. It could potentially take a lot of time and capital in order to do this. A brilliant move that SoFi did was acquire Galileo. Let's imagine if SoFi was somehow able to buy Apex Clearing and have Galileo. This coupled with a potential bank charter coming up will make SoFi unstoppable. But as far as we're concerned, there hasn't been any news of acquiring Apex, so now we're just playing the waiting game. As we've mentioned, we're looking to hold SoFi for a minimum of 3-5 to five years if nothing fundamentally changes within the business. What do you guys think? Will SoFi end up acquiring Apex, or will they end up taking the same route as Robinhood and creating their own system for clearing? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel out a lot. Also, be sure to follow us on social media platforms at Wealth Gambit. Until next time, peace.